Hi guys and welcome to Bits and 87 Pairs, the channel which I've been neglecting quite a lot recently, mainly because in the last videos or a couple of videos before that, I was explaining that I had a busy schedule coming up and that happened ridiculous. Now if you guys do follow my main channel, you would have seen that I went to Sweden with Konami and was playing Pairs on, um, on a Nissan car, which was very, very interesting. And if you guys have not seen that video, go and check it out. But as promised, I've got a bit of free time now on the lead up to Christmas, going away a few times, but we are going to try and stick to the schedule of free three episodes a week so we come back and see that we got loads of gp to get gp is awesome and i think we got because we've not played it for that so long we got loads of gp and i thought i'd take advantage and try and get a guaranteed black ball black ball for days don't we love black balls don't we look no we don't love black balls because we get an absolute shit player to start off with so if any of you guys are new to this channel a subscription would be absolutely awesome subscribe uh, also which is the same thing as well. And if we can try and hit over 500 likes on the first episode back in a while, on Saturday, is it Saturday? Yeah, Saturday the next video will be, uh, we will do a Black Ball Agent opening. Well, whatever special um, special agents are out at the time. So if you guys are new to this, we do do a lot of Black Balls. I did say that I wasn't going to go near it, but after playing games, um, realising how shit goalkeepers were, I really need a good team to start playing. And we're in Division 10 currently, um, conceded a crap goal, scored a crap goal, and it was just, it was really weird. Like, I thought I was alright at Pez, but obviously coming back into it a few months later was uh, very distracting for me, especially not being good at the game. Everyone was smashing me, the keepers were non-existent, and and uh, this keeper is still like a low rated one. There's a lot of low rated players in the team. I think at the start of the next episode, I will show you the current team we do have. As uh, I think Neymar's loan will be starting to expire currently. But if you guys are new to the series, I'll give you a brief little catch up. We played a few games, showed you a few things. We've got custom kits made by Daily Render as well. Uh, we've got a home kit, which is a black, black and gold one, which we're using now. And then we also have a blue one and also a Real Madrid style uh, third kit as well, which you'll see in the three games we are playing today. So as you can see, guys, I our goalkeeper does not want to save anything and uh, after this I was really fucking annoyed losing um, losing 4-2 in the first game back and uh, playing late at night and we didn't really get dominated, I just couldn't finish like everyone's goalkeepers were ridiculous so with the GP we did get, I think it was around 80,000 GP, we did open some uh, agents and we managed to pick up a good player as our first agent signing and it is Dave Azipiquilta from Chelsea so he jumps in the left back position, 83 rated as well, obviously at level 30 but you can get them all the way up to level 50 i do believe it may be higher than that maybe one of you guys who are hardcore pairs can let me know in the comment section below so then we move on to the second ball and we pull another elite it is a goalkeeper and it is a player returning to the club who was absolutely devastating last uh, pez 2015 and it is buffon joining the ranks very early on we then went on to open two more balls unfortunately we were given gold balls for the remainder but obviously the gold ball players are still going to jump into the team mainly because they are um a lot higher rated than we currently have. Now, this guy I've never heard of, uh, but he jumps in the centre midfield position. And then the next player we do get was uh, someone else. I think it was Bernat, who uh, I think we're just going to convert into a trainer. So, guys, with that, we did make a few changes to the team, as you can see there. Um... Our team's on the left, so we've got Munayin. We also bought uh, Deschamps as well, the French manager. We bought him to get some more, um, well, some more player, I can't remember what it's called now, player training, so you can put better players into the team. Uh, also changing the formation. Now, our opponent was good-ish, but we did, were scoring a lot of nice goals. Mainly, Ibrahimovic, when he shoots, it goes in, but the keepers still pull off amazing saves for me. Uh, we were then able to do, I was messing around, like still getting used to the game there with the dribbling, but we were able to break on through his defence there with some uh, close close tight dribbling and then power dribbling and smashes it into the bottom corner making it 2-0 I thought we were going to pick up our first W but in the second half he breaks on through with Gomez who whips it in and uh, his man De Jong was there to score a header now if you guys know De Jong in real life he's very good with his head and uh, that is replicated very well on FIFA as well we then break on through we pass it back to his goalkeeper in a bit of a panic keeper handballs it anyway from a pass back but thankfully he was there to tap it into an open net the next one was a bit of a mistake by me he went to throw the ball out he rolled it out even though I put loads of power on and he's able to smash it off the post deflects straight to De Jong and uh, puts it into the back of the net making it 3-2 he then gets a corner yep 
you know what's happening here. Uh, drilling inside the area. I am wary. I'm a FIFA player. You guys know FIFA giving away penalties. So I don't really want to tackle people in the area. But I really need to learn how to do it on Pez. Mainly because we do get completely smashed there. Even with Booth on in net, he wasn't making a change with the goalkeepers. Just was not saving anything. So he pulls it back to 3-3. Free -free, but a nice bit of dribbling by Moutinho. Linking up with Ibra. Who does some nice close dribbling inside the area to sell the defenders. And he's able to put it into the far corner and make it 4-3. Taking us back into the lead in the day minutes but in the 86 minute he breaks on through there with some terrible defending by me just trying to get rid of the ball but the ball bounced to uh, uh, Walcott who yet again dribbling on the edge of my area didn't want to go near him and he's able to cross it in to the far post and Gomez there tap it in no idea how Buffon didn't get the ball but he never so in our second game we get one point so that's one point out of a possible six currently and uh, then breaking on into our third game as we do like to keep the season's episodes um Two free, yeah, three games in an episode, and we have added a little bit more into here today as well. So our next opponent, guys, got a very good team. Saviola up front, we got Ramsey sat in there as well, as well as a few high-rated players. And straight from kickoff, this guy was doing like kickoff, um, like a kickoff long ball. It worked. He got a corner, and I've no idea how how that ball went in, but it did. He scores with a brilliant header. He then links up again, makes it two nil instantly, and it was just uh, saving myself from getting battered. But unfortunately, I couldn't keep pulling off a good save there. But he's unable to get the rebound, and he makes it three nil. And uh, this was so early on in the second half. He breaks on through with Ramsey there, linking it with Saviola, and uh, Ramsey puts it directly under Buffon and uh, makes it four nil. There was no coming back from it, but. But was there? We link up with uh, Neymar breaking on through and we go back to what we did in Pez 2015 which was like the chip volley and uh, it does go in and make it 4-1. Uh, then we continue to pile on the pressure, mainly on the counter attack actually. Ibrahimovic there selling the defender and he's able to put it into the far corner making it 4-2 and on Pez guys, if you play Pez you'll know exactly what happens now. We then break on forward with a nice through ball to Ibra. He's able to smash it into the back of the net in the 81st minute and for the remaining 10 minutes guys, he passed it around the back. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely awesome. Die away to finish a match, but that's how it happened. And uh, unfortunately, we take one point out of a possible nine, and we are struggling in Division 10. So, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, like it, we very much appreciate it. We'll be back another day with another video for you guys to enjoy on the Pez channel. So, make sure you subscribe, leave a like rating as well, hit over 500 likes, and we'll bring a Black Ball agent opening. Well, aim to get a Black Ball agent opening. We've not got, not got, not got any of them guaranteed ones yet, but we'll try and do a special one uh, for the weekend. So, guys, leave a like rating, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you later for another video on Bates Nate 7 Pez.